You're looking at part of one of the largest solar installations in America. Applied Materials erected a 1.9 megawatt array of solar panels in 2007. This part, which covers their parking lot, is actually only one half of the whole thing. Applied for years made its money selling manufacturing equipment to chip makers, but it's now dedicating more time and energy to selling equipment to people who make solar panels. We're working in two main areas, both are using silicon-based technology. Uh, the first area I'll talk to is on crystalline silicon technologies. And we've really got into that business through acquisitions over the last year. In the thin film area, we have another silicon-based technology, which is the, the SunFab line. And this is an integrated manufacturing line. It, it really is a, you know, an end-to-end -end solution we provide. And the, the, the input products are, you know, there's commodities going into the, the line. There's glass, gas, cyanine gases, common industrial gases, polyvinyl butanate, which is used for the lamination. That's a standard in the auto industry. And this is producing uh, panels which are essentially ready to be deployed in the field. They've got a junction box on the, on the back and they're ready It's amorphous silicon. Amorphous. Okay. Uh, yes, it, we have a single junction line and a, a tandem junction mm -hmm. line. Basically, it builds a whole factory and somebody else comes in and starts making solar panels. Applied says this will cut the cost of solar energy. Critics, however, say it's going to let a lot of people in the industry who don't know that much about solar technology. These factories actually only churn out thin film silicon solar cells. They can't make crystalline solar cells, which are the really familiar ones, and they can't do things like SIG cells or CADTEL thin film cells just yet. One thing that comes up with uh, amorphous silicon is a lot of critics claim yeah. you know, the efficiency will never be as high as CADTEL or never be as good as SIGs. Is it can it be moved close to that or? Well, uh, right now our products for a single junction line, the, the efficiency is, a, is, a, is 6%. Uh, for a tandem junction line, our specification is, is 8.5%, and we have a roadmap to get that up to uh, get that up to 10%. No way. And certainly, it's it's you know the theoretical. Uh, I think the theoretical limit is somewhere over 15. So there's there's still uh, you know considerable headroom for for further development there. Can you get to dollar per watt with this well, kind of? Well, yeah. With with when we get to 10% uh, efficiency, we can get to a dollar per watt. Thin film silicon has the lowest efficiency of any solar cell in the market. Still, by prefabbing the factory, a lot of cost is going to be taken out of the equation, so this could succeed fairly well. We're going to find out in the next two to three years. I'm Michael Canellis with Green Tech Media.